In this video, I'm gonna share the five fundamental books that I studied as a content creator to grow my social media. I grew my TikTok to over 37,000 followers, got millions of views and helped others get to over 10,000 followers and get millions of views. And if you stick to the end, you'll get ahead of the other 90% of content creators that can't stick to the end of videos because they've got such short attention spans. And so there are two fundamental things you've got to actually learn if you wanna be good on social media and a content creator. The first thing is understanding the fundamental laws of marketing and the second thing is staying consistent, building systems within your social media so you're able to post consistently. If you're not posting consistently, someone else is and they're gonna take your followers, they're gonna take your subscribers and they're gonna get ahead of you. So you need to be creating content consistently which will allow you to get good over time and allow you to build that following over time because consistency creates the results that you want. So the first three books are about the fundamental laws of marketing and the last two books are about building systems and creating habits so you can consistently create content. Now the first book is Traffic Secrets. And so what this book really taught me and is about is about the fundamental understanding of who is your ideal avatar? Who's the person that you're creating content for? And if you understand that person, you can effortlessly think of ideas and different types of content that resonate with the person and solves their problems. And the more problems you can solve for that person, the more likely they're gonna continue watching your videos and tell other people that they know that have similar problems, how to solve those problems, go watch your videos. And so this book teaches how do you figure out who your ideal avatar is and then creating a plan to figure out how can you get that ideal avatar to come to your channel or your social media platform and listen to you. And it talks about the Dream 100, which really helped me grow my TikTok understanding who are the dream top 100 creators that they, this person already listens to. And then you can try and get and become friends and develop connections with those hundred influencers. That's why you see most people going on other people's podcasts. They've figured out the Dream 100 that their ideal avatar is listening to. And they're reaching out to those people, those influencers, and connecting with them and building rapport with them. So then they can get featured on that podcast and get in front of their ideal viewer. So having the Dream 100 is the first thing that you should start with. And then coming out with a publishing plan which is the kind of framework or the system you're gonna to use to consistently create content to get in front of your ideal avatar. So this book, so this Traffic Secrets is just a fundamental book on understanding your ideal avatar and how to get in front of them. The next book is understanding how you can get that person, your ideal avatar, to continue watching your video once you've got them in. And so that book is Expert Secrets. And this book teaches the frameworks to becoming an expert within your industry. And that comes from understanding storytelling to get people to change their beliefs, understanding how to create a movement so people listen to you and are compelled to continue listening to you. How to create frameworks so you can teach people the lessons that you've learned and they can apply it to their own lives to create change. And so this book is really about getting people to continue watching your videos because you've become an expert. Someone like Andrew Huberman, he's an expert because he's applied and he's got these principles within his social media, where he's changed people's beliefs, he's told stories, and he's given people research and understanding and frameworks that they can apply to lives and better their lives and become better people. So this, if you study this book, you're able to understand how to influence people by telling stories. You're able to understand how to influence people by creating frameworks and strategies they can use to improve their lives and creating a mission and a belief system that people should adopt so they continue to improve their lives and the reason they listen to you is because you're the expert and the authority figure within that industry and you've positioned yourself as the authority figure because you've applied these principles so we figured out who we want to reach and we figured out how we can get them in and watching our videos through traffic secrets and then we figured out how to keep them watching through expert secrets the next book is about how to actually do this to different platforms in different ways and different strategies within advertising. And that's $100 million leads by Alex Hamosi. And it talks about the four ways you can get people to know about your stuff and then the four ways you can get other people to tell people about your stuff. And so that, what that basically means is there are four ways to get in front of your ideal avatar. That's through warm outreach, cold outreach, free content and paid content. So warm outreach is talking to people you know, cold outreach, cold outreach is talking to people you don't know, 
free content, he's posting stuff on social media, paid content is paying to get in front of people's eyeballs. So you understand these four fundamental ways to communicate with people and get in front of your ideal avatar. You can start figuring out the different systems you can implement to get in front of them. Once you've mastered those four ways, you can start using the other four ways to get other people to do it for you. So you get employees to do it for you, you can get customers to do it for you, you can get referrals to do it for you, you can get agencies to do it for you. And so what that means is say you're posting content on YouTube, you can get employees to start posting content on YouTube for you. you can get, that's why you see reaction channels blowing up because other people are posting content for that person. Then you can talk about you can get agencies to create YouTube videos for you and then get referrals or potentially other businesses or go on people's podcasts. That's a referral that you're on their podcast, they're referring you to your channel. And so then you can start doing paid advertising, cold outreach and warm outreach. So there's other different fundamental ways to communicate with your ideal avatar. You don't have to just be posting content, but if you understand this book and the systems and the frameworks in it, then you can start to develop other marketing strategies to get in front of your ideal avatar. So using those three books, we've figured out the basic fundamental laws of marketing of who we're trying to talk to, how we're going to get in front of them, and then how we're going to keep them watching, and then how we're going to grow that through $100 million leads of figuring out the other four ways to get people to know about our stuff, and then the other four ways to get other people to tell people about our stuff using $100 million leads. Now the next two books are about staying consistent and consistently creating content because if you're not staying consistent, someone else is and they're going to take your viewers. So you've got to be consistent because if you're not, you're never going to be able to get in front of your ideal viewer. And so the next book is Atomic Habits. And so I applied this to my social media and it made me blow up. And the way I, and the reason I did that is because I started posting more consistently. I wasn't posting consistent before, I was posting sporadically. When I started posting consistently, I went from a few thousand views to getting a million views. And so what I did is I figured out I gotta create a queue for myself or when have I gotta post content. I already had the systems and the frameworks I needed to know to post the content. And then I gotta have a reward for myself for when I post the content, what do I do? So I can continue and create that habit within myself to create content. So this book really talks about creating queues cravings, response, and rewards. So I rolled myself every time I posted content with cranberries. And I had a queue for myself every day at 8.30 in the morning. I would open up my Notion document and I would just either plan a video, you know, I would film a video, I would edit a video and post it. So different days had different tasks to be completed and that was the queue for myself. And then Obviously, I gave myself a reward for completing different tasks. The next book is E-Myth Revisited. And so this book is actually understanding how to create systems within your social media so you can consistently create content that builds your brand and reputation. Because if you're creating consistent content that has a consistent message and tone, people are going to continue to turn up because they enjoy listening to you and your personality and the different aspects of your channel. And so this book really talks about creating step-by-step -step procedures and protocols and position contracts within your business. So when you hire someone else, they can do the same job that you do. And so you're able to get your time back because other people are doing tasks for you. But the only way they can know how to do the tasks is if you create standard operating procedures or basically like tutorials. So if you've got a social media account, you need to be outsourcing your editing and that in order to do that, you need to actually create a standard operating procedure of how to edit your videos. And then you need to create a standard operating procedure for how someone can post the videos and come up ideas and script videos. Because your main priority is being on camera and filming videos, that's the most important task. If you don't film videos, you can't post videos. So you need to start outsourcing different tasks within your production system, which is what I'm trying to focus on now. Outsource editing, outsource posting. And so other people are willing to do those sorts of tasks if you pay them. And the only way you're able to actually start getting your time back is if you apply this book and build out the systems within your content business so you can start scaling and getting your time back. So they're the five main books that I've learned the most from when I've been studying 
to actually understand the fundamental laws of marketing so I can attract my ideal viewer, get them listening and keep them listening. And then how I can build out habits and systems so I'm consistently posting content to my ideal viewer and I can outsource my tasks so I can get my time back. So if you found these books valuable, I'll put links in the description to all of them. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're not posting content consistently, someone else is going to be doing it and they're going to take your followers. So if you've been procrastinating on posting videos, you need to start posting now. Because what is it costing you? You know what it's costing you. You know the life you want to create. And if you're not posting videos, you can't create it. So if you want to stop procrastinating and start posting, click the first link in the description and I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process. And by the end of the call, we'll have a video posted on your social media. And then I'll give you the systems and the habit trackers I use to post consistently.